Did you know there's a country that could disappear within a few decades due to climate change? Hard to believe, right? Today, we're delving into a country that many people might not be familiar with, but holds an incredibly compelling and vital story for us all. Yes, we're talking about Kiribati. Welcome to Kiribati. This island nation, situated in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, is genuinely unique and awe-inspiring. From its stunning natural beauty to its rich, diverse culture, Kiribati is a hidden gem that deserves our deeper attention and understanding. Geographically speaking, Kiribati is nestled in the Micronesia region and comprises a sprawling array of 33 atolls that stretch across an area of about 1.35 million square miles. That's right, 33 atolls. Its strategic location gives Kiribati a critical role in global issues like climate change and marine biodiversity. In the grand scheme of things, Kiribati may seem small, with a total land area of just about 313 square miles. However, don't be fooled. This diminutive nation is teeming with life, boasting a population of around 120,000 souls. It also stands as one of the countries most endangered by climate change, facing the perilous risk of submersion within a few decades. So that's a quick snapshot of Kiribati, a topic we'll explore further. So, stay with us to learn even more about this intriguing nation, from its history and culture to the pressing challenges it faces. Kiribati is a diverse country consisting of 32 atolls and one coral island known as Banaba. The nation's total land area is approximately 313 square miles, spread out over an expansive area of about 1.35 million square miles in the Pacific Ocean. While it doesn't border any countries or bodies of water directly, Kiribati is strategically positioned halfway between Hawaii and Australia. It's made up of three main island groups, the Gilbert Islands, the Phoenix Islands, and the Lion Islands. One fascinating geographical feature is Kiritamati, which is the world's largest coral atoll in terms of land area. Kiribati also boasts a coastline of approximately 709 miles and an exclusive economic zone covering a staggering 1.33 million square miles. The nation's primary city and administrative center is South Tarawa, with Bairiki serving as its main administrative hub. The name Kiribati is a phonetic adaptation of the word Gilberts, derived from the Gilbert Islands. Originally inhabited by Micronesian and Polynesian peoples, Kiribati has a rich tapestry of historical events, including its significant role during World War II. The nation was once a British colony before gaining its independence in 1979. One natural resource that played an essential role in Kiribati's history is phosphate from the island of Banaba. Unfortunately, this resource is now depleted, serving as a pivotal turning point in the nation's economy. With a population of around 120,000 residents, Kiribati is primarily composed of ethnic Micronesians. English and Kiribati are the official languages spoken, and the majority of its residents are Christians. Kiribati's cultural values and norms are heavily influenced by communal living and strong family bonds. The nation is also renowned for its traditional dances and music, along with holidays and celebrations like Independence Day and Christmas. The local economy primarily depends on copra, fishing, and handicrafts, often serving as additional sources of income for residents in the more remote islands. Kiribati is genuinely an extraordinary and captivating nation. One of the most astonishing facts is that it's the only country in the world situated in all four hemispheres, north, south, east, and west. Additionally, thanks to its position, which is 14 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, Kiribati is the first country to welcome the new year. Furthermore, it boasts the world's largest marine protected area, known as the Phoenix Islands Protected Area, PIPA, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site within the country. Among the notable landmarks in Kiribati is Kiritamati, or Christmas Island, home to the world's largest coral atoll. Another significant point of interest is the Phoenix Islands Protected Area, PIPA, a prime destination for divers and marine researchers alike. The local language in Kiribati, known as Gilbertese or I Kiribati, is a language with its unique phonetic qualities consisting of 13 sounds, and in which T is pronounced as C, therefore Kiribati is pronounced Kiriba. If you are an avid enthusiast of the underwater realm, then Kiritamati, commonly known as Christmas Island, is an absolute paradise you won't want to miss. Situated in the eastern part of Kiribati, 
This island is accessible via flights from Tarawa or Fiji. But what sets Kiritamati apart from other destinations? The answer is straightforward. It's home to the world's largest coral atoll. Imagine swimming amidst a mesmerizing array of marine life. This is the perfect haven for both snorkeling and scuba diving aficionados. Next, let's delve into the Phoenix Islands protected area, more popularly known as PIPA. This spectacular marine sanctuary is located in the Phoenix Islands, and the easiest way to get there is by boat or charter flights. PIPA is no ordinary marine protection zone. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a prime hotspot for divers and marine researchers alike. So, whether you're a seasoned diver or simply someone who revels in witnessing the splendor of underwater ecosystems, Pippa is a must-visit destination. Finally, we arrive at South Tarawa, the very heart and soul of Kiribati. Located in the western part of the country, South Tarawa is accessible through international flights. But what makes South Tarawa so exceptional? It serves as the administrative and cultural epicenter of Kiribati, where you can truly feel the nation's spirit and vibrancy. From wartime monuments to historical sites, South Tarawa offers profound insights into the identity and heritage of Kiribati. With all these incredible places, Kiribati is not just a country. It's an entirely distinct world offering a multitude of wonders and adventures. As we continue our journey through Kiribati, a nation perhaps not widely recognized but brimming with awe and mystery, let us delve even deeper into the fascinating facts and intriguing aspects of Kiribati. Ah, the captivating allure of Kiribati. Although it doesn't flaunt any towering mountains, you'll be genuinely amazed to know that its average elevation hovers around a mere 6.6 .6 feet above sea level. Yes, that's not a typo, just 6.6 .6 feet. This astonishingly low elevation places Kiribati among the countries with the absolute lowest elevations on Earth. Intriguing, isn't it? And here's another temporal twist for you. Kiribati is the world's very first place to celebrate the arrival of the new year. Just picture this living in a spot that's perpetually one step ahead in greeting new days. It's like being in a place where you're always on the frontier of time, an irresistibly compelling reason to visit. Now, let's delve deep into the rich tapestry of Kiribati's history, shall we? This island nation boasts an incredibly unique historical background that reads like a novel. Way back in 1957, the United Kingdom chose Christmas Island, one of Kiribati's islands, as a nuclear testing site. Think about the layers of complexity this adds to the nation's already fascinating history. And let's not overlook the name Kiribati. It's not just a label, it's a cultural statement. This name is a localized phonetic interpretation of Gilbert's, an homage to British Captain Thomas Gilbert, a fascinating and unique tribute to an explorer who once navigated these waters. Wouldn't you agree? After immersing ourselves in such spellbinding history, it's only natural to become curious about the current culture and traditions that define Kiribati. Information about unique festivals might be scarce, but what's abundantly clear is that the island's primarily Christian population goes all out to celebrate Christmas and Easter. Imagine being engrossed in traditional dances under a moonlit sky while listening to enchanting island melodies. These intricate rhythms and dances aren't just performances, they're the heartbeat of Kiribati's vibrant community calling all seafood aficionados. If you ever wished for a culinary paradise, Kiribati should top your list. Imagine feasting on the freshest fish and shellfish that the ocean has to offer. And let's not forget about the reinvigorating coconut drinks, an absolute must-try that will give your tropical experience that final, perfect touch. One uniquely Kiribatian law you may find fascinating is their approach to land ownership. In this community-oriented society, Land is communally owned and traditionally passed down from one generation to the next. A different take on ownership that reveals so much about the island's collective spirit. The pillars supporting Kiribati's economy are its vibrant fishing and tourism industries. And believe it or not, tuna serves as one of its star export products, a delicacy enjoyed worldwide. The island's heart and soul are beautifully encapsulated in its national symbols. A flag that portrays a soaring bird and radiant sun along with the melodious strains of the national anthem, Tiraki Kaina Kiribati. Perhaps one of the most thought-provoking facts is that the entire population of Kiribati may one day relocate to Fiji due to the looming threat of climate change. There you have it, a treasure trove of fascinating facts about Kiribati, 
from its geography right down to its rich culture. So, are you packed and ready to explore the mesmerizing world of Kiribati? We'll catch up in the next intriguing video.